Uh, real quick thing, one thing that stood out to me is a nice fluid motion. He's a very good release. I like how it looks coming out. Um, you know, he's very good on his short throw accuracy. And then I'm going to talk about some of the things he can work on and really break that down and how he could take the next step in his game and really flourish in another year as a starter. So let's go ahead and break it down. All right, right here. So this is one of the things he can work on, right? Deep ball. Receiver has to kind of come back to the ball a little bit. Not, not thrown very, you know, accurately here. See, he has to kind of come back. He already has a defender beat. That is something he can kind of work on there, D-ball accuracy. But, man, love his short-term accuracy, how he gets the ball out quick. He is not taking a lot of time to process what the defense is giving him, right? He's quick. He sees it. Okay, open man. Let me get it out of my hands. Nice curl right there. I'm going to throw it out. Right here, this was just a dot. Love this play right here. Reads the defense well. I mean, we're going to slow it down here. Okay, let's see what he's looking at. Okay, defense coming up. He sees him open. Great dot right there. Receiver's not having to slow down. Great throw for the touchdown. Probably one of his best plays on his film. Really enjoyed looking at that. Same thing here. He's going to get a little bit of a pressure. Nice off the, th uh, off the run throw. Same thing here. Pressure's coming. He doesn't get really phased. Throws the ball. Very accurate. Gets him into the red zone. Love that for him. So he shows he got great um, off the throw ability. Ability to run and, and throw really accurate ball. So really enjoyed that from him. Same thing here, getting out quick, quick decision-making, not taking a long time to process, seeing what he's seeing. Okay, same thing here, we're going to see the deep ball, but receiver has to kind of come back to it. So that's the big thing for him. And then this play right here, I want to slow down. So it's going to come back in a second, and I'm going to really break it down and pause it. Okay, so here he is, reading the defense, getting to the right. Here comes the defensive tackle. Okay. Okay. So we're going to look at it again. All right. So here it is. I'm going to tell Craig to pause it in just a second. Pause it right here. Okay. So here, he's going to make a great throw, right? It's going to go over the defender, and he's going to be able to catch it. But the next step in his game is being able to read it a little bit better, right? So if you see in this play, 20 has the other defensive back beat. He can get throw it to him, easy pitch and catch. Look how difficult this throw kind of is and what kind of happens. Go ahead and play it for me, Craig. So he's going to have to throw it high. There's a defender there right here. That could have easily been a pick. But great throw, but the next level for him is decision-making, right? Great job here. Throwing off the run. I'm going to break down this play again. Okay. Yeah, push it to the other side, Craig. Yep. All right, now pause it. Not right, not right now. Pause it right here. Nope, you're good. We're going to go back. Okay, pause it right there. Okay, so let's break it down again, right? Great coverage. You're going to see the middle linebacker covering him. Okay, so this is really the defense is kind of confused. They're like, okay, what am I doing? You're going to see the middle linebacker in the frame of the play. He's going to rush back. He's like, oh, no, what's, you know, I left the guy open. So Munt does a good job of making the completion, but he makes it harder on himself, right? If he hits the middle of the field, where 23 is, that could possibly be a touchdown or a very big game, right? He's going to make a more difficult throw to the outside boundary receiver instead of hitting the middle of the field. That could have been a bigger game. Now roll the tape for me, Craig. See, 23 is open. Look at all that open field he has, right? That's the next level of his game, reading it. It's gonna, we're going to show you one more clip that really breaks it down as well. Same thing. Gets it out fast, great throw, picks up minimal yardage, right? Now I'm going to break it down. We're going to pause it one more time, and I'm going to show you where he can really hurt the defense. Okay, pause right there. There you go. Okay, so play it and then pause it for me. Okay, right there. And pause. Now, he's going to hit the backer right here. He's open. Great read. But look at the safety at the top of the screen that you're going to see. You're going to see two corners. You're going to see two DBs, excuse me. You're going to see a corner that's guarding the outward boundary receiver, and you're going to see the safety at the top of the screen that's guarding him too, right? Again, this is a defensive kind of error here, right? So if he holds the ball a little bit longer, there's nobody in the backfield with him. He has plenty of time to throw. He's going to see his inside slot receiver 
All he has to do is throw it to him. He goes up the field. That's a touchdown because the top safety is going to guard the second or is going to double team the other player. So if he can see that, break that down a little bit more, go back and look at his film, and then when he's in the game, be able to see this, be able to recognize this, he can have bigger plays. So go ahead and play it for me, Craig. So great throw, but look at the top of the middle of the, middle of the field. He's wide open. That's a touchdown. The slot already had the slot corner beat. So all he has to do, hit the middle of the field, that's a TD uh, for Lasseter, for the Trojans. They're able to get six. So, again, three things, and you can come back to me, Craig. Three things that stand out to me for him, right? He's really great at with a nice I – like, I like his motion and his release of his throws. That is exceptional with him. He's great with his short-term accuracy, getting the ball out of his hands, um, not taking a negative play. He's really good with that, um, picking up positive yards, right? But if he wants to expand his game and he wants to go to the next level, it's going to be – kind of that play recognition, seeing what the defense is doing, right? Reading the safety, reading the defensive back, reading the corner, reading the linebackers, right? Because you're going to see lapses in defenses sometimes where the middle of the field is going to be open or you're going to have your tight end open. Sometimes the defense puts too much attention to one player or to, uh, to one side of the field, right? So his next step of his game is reading the defense, being able to see he can get bigger plays that leads to touchdowns and, and maybe not even touchdowns, but just getting inside the red zone, getting his team some momentum. That's the next level of Levi Munt's game. I can't wait to see him. I know he's going to be at our 707 Corky Kell tournament. That's the next step of his game is being able to read that. And then the deep ball accuracy. That's the only other critique I had. Reading the defense a little better, deep ball accuracy. If he can hit his receivers and stride a little bit more, get a little bit better with his ball placement, get a little bit better with um, where he's um, throwing it, he can get bigger, longer touchdowns too, those 40, 50, 60-yard touchdowns. But, again, great things about him, great short-term accuracy, gets the ball out of his hands, very accurate in the short intermediate routes, can work on deep ball accuracy, reading defense a little bit better.